the IMLS was generous enough to donate a, a grant to fund cataloging the uh, motion picture equipment collection for the George Eastman Museum. Uh, when it comes to motion picture equipment, this is probably the beginning of it. This is the Lumiere Cinematograph. It was introduced in December 28th, uh, 1895. They had a showing actually in the basement of a cafe in Paris. One would think the visitors were expecting to see a Magic Lantern show, and they actually got motion pictures. So on the TV screen, we actually have uh, Francis Dublier. This was actually his camera. We got it from his uh, daughter. It was donated to the museum in the 1950s. Pretty impressive. Uh, so basically the way this works, this is a camera, uh, printer, and projector. So when you take motion pictures in those days, you actually had to make a, a print from the negative and then project it. So it's sort of a combination machine. It is now set up as the projector. Uh, this is the lamp house. That's the uh, camera projector right there. Normally this would have had originally a uh, carbon arc lamp, which we're not going to light that up in the museum. Uh, I made a slight modification to put an LED bulb in it, so it works really quite well. Uh, this rather curious device here is the condenser lens. It's actually a water flask. It actually works very well as a lens, believe it or not. Uh, so to kind of run through the details, I'm going to swing over the cart here. Uh, so. Again, this is the, the camera system on the table. Uh, the table is a reproduction. Uh, the supply is on the top for the film. The take-up spool is actually a box in the table. The film just falls into the box. Okay, so when you're using it as a camera, so this is the carbon arc that would, would actually fit in the lamp house uh, to, to run it in the museum because they don't let me light up a carbon arc if we use the LED bulb. Uh, if we kind of go right around the room here, this is the supply for taking motion pictures. It goes on the top of the camera. This is the take up, the metal spool that actually goes inside. This is the taking lens. Uh, you just basically unthread the projecting lens. This goes right on top. Uh, for making prints, this is the double supply. So basically you're going to have two rolls of film in the sim sim boxes, one for taking. One you've already exposed and the one for printing. Uh, this is the rewinder. Uh, this is the case, the kit for the accessories. Uh, and this is actually a piece of original Lumiere type film, unused. Okay. You good? Let's see if I open the gate here. Move the film out of the way. There's actually two little pull down fingers that come out and grab the film and move it down. So, right there. Pretty simple. Uh, there actually is a glass that holds it flat. This is stuff that they stopped doing. Uh, I'll leave this open because when we rewind it, I won't use the rewinder. I'll just back it up on the spool. Now, if you want to come around to this side, you'll see the shutter mechanism. So, this is a single blade shutter. Come look. Come, come look. <laughs> single blade shutter. It's actually adjustable. For, for projecting, you open it all the way. It's going to give us the maximum amount of light. Uh, if you're going to do taking, you'll actually unthread this. It's actually a left-handed thread and make the aperture much smaller. And this will, as it goes, it spins around in circles. And you can also kind of see the, the pull-down claw right here. Kind of like a sewing machine mechanism, if you would. Really pretty neat. Uh, a carbon arc lamp puts out a fairly focused beam of light. Uh, the the uh, LED bulb that we're using here actually has quite a bit more flare. So to focus it down, we're just going to sort of crop it with this little scope right here. Okay, so I'll just set this up. And again, this is not original. This is something, uh, an idea I came up with just to sort of cut the light down a little bit. So here we go. So we've got actually quite a bit of meter to pass it down. Ten crank, uh, sixteen crank to go for something. On the Library of Congress site, on the Library of Congress site, it says this film clip takes eighteen seconds. When I crank it, it takes a little bit longer. So maybe I'm not cranking fast enough, or they've timed it wrong. I don't know. So anyway, here we go.